Michigan State now 5-1 and one after holding off Minnesota on Saturday, thanks in large part to the exploits of L.J. Scott. They have Indiana coming up this week, and head coach Mark D'Antonio kind enough to join us from our studio in East Lansing. Coach, such a young team. I mean, you've played more true freshmen this year than any other season in your tenure, and yet you are vastly improved. What's been the key given the relative lack of experience? Well, I think... Uh Really what we've been able to do is um, get our freshmen in early uh, for the summer a little bit. So, you know, we, we had an opportunity to at least coach them a little bit because of the rule changes and everything, at least in the classroom. Uh, they're a bright group. And then we've just sort of brought them along a little bit. And then I think they've, they've really um, blended well with the rest of our football team. You know, we have a young football team by nature before they came. So a lot of those guys really add to the, to the football team. The defense, Mark, is just night and day better than it was a year ago. Where have you seen the biggest leap? Well, I think we're playing very well, uh, really, against the run. Uh, you know, up front, uh, I think our linebackers are, are playing well. You know, we've we used a lot of people up front defensively on our defensive line. and So we've been tough to run against and put us in third and long situations, and we've won the third and long situations so, and gotten off the field. So... Uh, we haven't get, we played a little sloppy in the fourth quarter this past week, but other, up to that point, probably played pretty well. You have some good players on every level of that defense, but I think Joe Bocci has quickly become kind of the face of this D. What has stood out to you about his play? Well, he, first of all, he's an extremely hard worker, and then the next thing you look at, he's a thumper. You know, he can, you know, he can get in there. He's a powerful guy, and then he's very athletic on top of that. So he really gives you those three attributes, and... Um, you know, he's sort of become a leader of, of, our, of our defense in a lot of respects because there's not a lot of seniors on our football team. I think right now we probably have five guys in the two deep on offense and defense combined. Uh, so, you know, there's opportunity for young players to sort of grow in a leadership, a role. Brian Lewerke on offense, Joe Bocci on defense. They're both sophomores, but there's opportunity, you know, there's room for them to grow. Well, you mentioned Lewerke. Where have you seen the greatest growth in him? I just think game management, you know, he's very calm, under pressure, you know, it's not going to bother him if he, if he throws a pick, he'll come back and play. Uh, you know, if he has something going on out there, he's very, he's very at ease in controlling the situation. Uh, that's the biggest thing I see. I see. He's, he's comfortable. Uh, he's con he can create with his legs. Uh, he's got the ability to throw the ball down the field. He makes good decisions at the line of scrimmage, uh, getting us in the correct play. And he's just, uh, he's, he's still growing, so he's still getting experience. You know, he's, I think he started eight games now for us. So that's a positive. And I, I just, but I think his demeanor as much as anything and his leadership style. Before last week, he was your leading rusher. We saw LJ Scott yeah. off the top. But what did it mean to get LJ going in terms of getting this offense to where you want it to be? Well, we went into the game collectively saying we got to get our tailbacks running the football downhill. And, uh, and we've got to get some production because I don't think we've had the production, the overall production. Although you were running the football, just, you know, we didn't really have a 100-yard game rusher, that, that guy that was popping out and, and, um, and getting those that type of numbers. So uh, last Saturday, Madre London had 75 yards. LJ bumps another 190 in there, so we ran for about 270-plus. So, you know, that was good to see, especially from the tailback position, because I think that was one thing that was that had been lacking, the consistency of running the ball from the, from the tailback position. What are the biggest challenges Indiana presents on both sides of the ball? I think they're playing well defensively. Uh, you know, they get after you. They play extremely hard. They're talented in the back end, uh, talented a linebacker. They have some playmakers. I think they're very well coached. On the offensive side of the ball, Peyton Ramsey's a young quarterback they've inserted there. I think he gives them a guy that's a lot like Lewerke in a lot of ways. Um, you know, when you look at the statistics through, the, through their six games, and they're very equal in a lot of ways uh, to what we've been able to accomplish in terms of turnovers or things of that nature. Uh, but um, I think their offensive backfield is deep. They've got talented wide receivers, and, uh, you know, they can throw the football around and move it. So um, it'll be a great challenge for us. Michigan State head coach Mark D'Antonio. Coach, thanks as always for your time, and best of luck this weekend. All right, guys. Thanks for having us on. Go Green.